Okie doke, we got another couple of examples here, and I'm already writing all over everything, so isn't that lovely? Okay, so um, like always, and, and something I haven't been modeling the best, but I think that is really important to do, is when you, when you do have um, some kind of a problem that you're doing, I think it's always a good idea to just read through the whole thing first before you even do anything. All right, so let's do that. Let's, act, let's actually do that. It says the function is continuous and symmetric about the line x equals negative 1. The function has a maximum at negative 1 4 as x approaches infinity, um, f of x approaches negative infinity, and as x approaches negative infinity, f of x approaches negative infinity. All right, so um, continuous and symmetric about the line x equals negative 1. Okay, so let's, let's deal with that first, all right? So what that means is that means that right here, this is where x equals negative 1, and this is the equation of the line x equals negative 1. It's a vertical line straight up and down, right? So this is my x equals negative 1 is this line right here. Okay, so that means that this thing's going to be going to have line symmetry over this. All right. Now it doesn't say anything about in here whether about this is linear or not linear. Okay, and so that's kind of important because um, there's a couple different kind of representations you could get here. Right. So that's where you have to just make sure you're reading everything carefully and doing what you can. All right, so the next thing it says, it says the, func the function has a maximum at the point negative 1, 4. All right, now remember, maximum means that at negative 1, 4, that's the highest point of the function. So at this point right here, so this is negative 1, we went over to the left 1, and then 4, and we go up 1, 2, 3, 4. That means that that's the highest point in the function. Okay, now let's read what this says. It says as x approaches infinity, so going this way, right? So going this way, right, as x approaches infinity, f of x, or in other words, your y, all your y values approach negative infinity. So that means this thing is going down, right? And then it says as x approaches negative infinity, so going this way now, f of x is also approaching negative infinity. So this thing is going down both ways. And the thing I know is it says this is symmetric, right? So whatever is going on on this side has to be a mirror image over here on the other side. So there's a bunch of things this could be, right? So here's one obvious example of what this could be, right? Is if we start here, right, and we go like this, Let's just, we're going to draw a regular equation of a line that just has a slope of 1, right? So if we have it like that, right, then that also means that on this side right here, okay, that means that you're also going to have something because it's symmetric. It's going to have basically, you know, the opposite slope. But you can tell that this thing folds on itself. So this is one option of what this could be like. Now, it could, it could also... Be, um, it could also be a different, you know, slope, right? So you could have something that starts here that's like this, and instead it's got, you know, a steeper slope going something like this, right? Which means that this other side would do the same thing, right? And go like this. So that's another option it could be. And then you could also make this thing, you can make this thing as wide and as high as you want, as long as it is approaching negative infinity, right? So you could even do something, right, like this if you wanted, okay? And that would also fit the bill, right? That works because it's symmetric. This is decreasing, right? It's just very shallow. So all of these would work because they're symmetrical and they, they have the maximum at negative 1, 4, right? Now, another thing that would work, okay, is if you have a parabola, okay? And if you have a parabola, you could have something that goes like this, right? Oops, I don't want that. I'm, I'm ready to be done with that now, all right? So we're going to go to you, right? And we're going to have something that goes maybe like this, right? And so I would say, okay, well, it's going down. It crosses about here. We got about three and three. So three and three, so it should cross about there. So... 
it would go down kind of like that, right? And so it's kind of symmetrical there, right? So that's another option. It could be um, really, honestly, there's, it, 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 could, it could be a large number of things, right? It's just the fact of the matter, it, it, it has to have, um, it has to have symmetry and it um, has to be continuous, right? And it's, and then it meets these uh, slope requirements, right? What's happening with it, okay? So as long as you're hitting that stuff, you're good. And you can play around with it, and it can it could be a, a variety of things, okay? But um, so there is a little bit of creativity you can have with these, and uh, you should have some fun with them. All right, last example here. Everybody's favorite, an application problem, right? So this says, um, Jose decides to go to a test track to drive a racing car. Um, he drives the car for a little over five minutes. Okay, that's good. Um, Jose starts driving at zero miles per hour. Um, Jose's maximum speed is 160 miles an hour, which he reaches after he starts driving by increasing his speed steadily for the first 30 seconds. Um, at the two minute mark, Jose decreases his speed for 0.25 minutes. Then he stays at 100 miles per hour for 2.75 minutes, right? Um, so at this point, right, we're at 4.75 minutes, right? Or no, we're actually at uh, we're at five minutes, right? Because he did the 0.25 and then another that after two. At the five minute mark, he again decreases his speed steadily for 30 seconds until he reaches his stop. Okay, so um, we got to get to about five and a half minutes here. So right, so if we do 30 second increments here, this would be one minute. This could be two minutes. This would be three. This could be four. This could be five, and then we'll say that this mark right here is five and a half minute mark. So we are going to make this um, our time, all right? Our time in minutes, okay? Um, and then this is going to be our speed, right? And we know that this has to get up to 160 miles per hour because it says it's its maximum speed, right? So if we go. Um, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and then 120, 140. We know this is 160, right? So we're going up, you know, by 20s. 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, 140. Great. So we've got a graph now that we can work with. So let's start from the beginning again. He drives the car for a little over five minutes. Yep. Jose starts driving at zero miles per hour. That means he's starting right here. He had, he's starting driving, so his time is zero, and he's at zero miles per hour, right? That makes sense because he's driving, and you can't usually get into a car if it's moving already, <laughs> okay? Now, um, we know his maximum speed is 160 miles an hour, which he reaches after he starts driving by increasing his speed steadily for the first 30 seconds. Well, I know if I'm going up by twos to get to one, that means 30 seconds is a half minute, right? And that's here, and he gets up to 160 miles an hour. So over this quick little span here, he's going from here to here, just in that period of time, which is bananas, right? That's really, really fast, right? But that's how fast he's going, right? So he's going from up from here to here, all right? So that's his first 30 seconds, okay? Now... Right? It says, um, at the two-minute mark, Jose decreases his speed. All right, so that means that up until the two-minute mark, he must be going 160 miles an hour, right? And, um, and he's not speeding up anymore. So the two-minute mark, right, puts us at right here, okay, because I'm just looking down here. We've got one minute, two minutes. And we want to move our line over. And so he's driving steadily. So here he goes, right? So at the two-minute mark, he decreases his speed for 0.25 minutes. Then he stays at 100 miles an hour. All right, so 0.25 minutes is 15 seconds, right? A quarter of a minute. Well, if you divide a minute into four sections, right, it's 60 seconds. Divide 60 by 4, it's 15 minutes, right? And so. 0.25 is one quarter, and so in after this, in 15 seconds, he gets down to 100 miles an hour. All right, that's what that means. So, got to be 
kind of, you know, a little bit of an interpreter with these things because they throw things at you kind of weird and fast, right? So I got my mark there at 100. We're going to come down here like this, and we're going to go here, and we're going to stop. And then it says, um, then he stays there for 2.75 minutes, all right? So now that means that here's the rest of my 0.75 of a minute. And there's another minute and two minutes. So up to here, right, he's staying at that speed, right? He's cruising along at 100 miles an hour, which is pretty fast, all right? And then at the five-minute mark, he again decreases his speed steadily for 30 seconds until he reaches a stop, all right, which means that he is stopping at five and a half minutes, which puts us about right here, all right, it's sort of off the graph, but we get the idea. And then he's decreasing steadily, which means it's a straight line. If he wasn't decreasing steadily, then it would be like a curved line. But if it's steady, that means it has a constant rate of change, right? So there's all these word clues in here that you're looking for that are going to tell you, like, what kind of lines. And these, all these lines we're doing are all straight lines. And they're all straight because we're looking at, um, we're looking at you know, the language that they're using, right? And so Jose starts driving at zero miles per hour. He reaches after he starts driving by increasing his speed steadily, increasing his speed steadily for the first 30 seconds. That's how I know this is a straight line. Okay, and then he decreases his speed for 0.25 minutes, and it doesn't say here. So here it could be kind of curved, right? It could it could be you know it could be something like uh, that, right? Who knows? But it's um, but you get the idea, right? What what we're looking at here, um, and then. Um, he gets 100 miles an hour, and then at the five-minute mark, he decreases his speed steadily. So this one has to be a straight line, right? So you're, you're looking for those words when you're looking at the, at the word problems, right? And then you, uh, now we've got a graphic representation of his ride. Really, really fast, speed up, stay at a high speed for, you know, up until two minutes, come down pretty quickly, 15 seconds, you drop 60 miles an hour. And, but you're still going kind of fast for, you know, another almost three minutes, and then you start to slow down, right? So that's all this in a graphic representation. So nice job, guys, following along. Um, your homework for this counts as a summative, um, at least for this year where we're doing it. Um, so make sure that you are kind of understanding how this all works and everything, um, and we pretty much covered everything you need for that at some point or another in these videos. Okay, so uh, good luck with these, and um, thanks for watching.